What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. I do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option. Guys, do not accept a woman that has lip fillers. Shots fired! Shots fired! Maybe, maybe a walk and coffee date is what you are. You might be a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. I mean, life is a mirror, not a window, honey. We don't make the rules. We just enforce them. If, if this is what we see, if this is what you're marketing, that's the bucket we're going to put you in. This video. First of all, I'm not a dog that needs to be walked. Second, I have an espresso machine at home. Works fabulous. We're not doing drinks either. You're gonna try to get me drunk and take me back home. Has that happened before? No. We are doing dinner. You're gonna pick me up. We're gonna come to the restaurant. We're gonna see your table manners. We're gonna see what you order. We're gonna see, do you hold your chopsticks correctly? We're just gonna, you know, study you a bit. Oh, hell no! <laughs> Or you can eat at home because mind. you have food there and don't deserve to be taken out. That was a good meal. Wait a minute. Am I getting any tonight? Split meal. Oh. If he ain't getting any, then she won't be getting any free food. <laughs> Sounds fair that. to me. Any any expectations for how much the ring should cost? Uh -oh. Here we no, go. She don't care about like I'm, that. Yeah, price. I'm not materialistic in prices. So. She's really more so a thoughtful girl. Like, it's a thought down there. $1,500 no. ring would be just fine with yeah. you. No. <laughs> don't say no. Don't show up. Don't say no. Because when, when Honey, did... You're beat at best. Like, you're, you're okay. You're mid. Anybody ever proposed to you? Nobody proposed to me yet. Exactly. So why would a fifteen hundred dollar ring mean anything? That's a good question. Exactly. But that's what I expect. No, that's what you expect, and it's because you're too picky. Okay. Preacher, brother. Guess I'm too picky then. Yes, I know you too picky. Yes, but this you, you fifteen hundred dollar ring now. Seems like you guys love each other very much. Yeah, I love yes. each other so much. Like, <laughs> through, like a ring right. doesn't matter. A oh, ring doesn't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. It's just it she matters in a certain aspect. Love the fact that he kept her checked. Yeah. Maybe he really did turn a woman from the street into a wife. Now she's still in the streets and barely wearing any clothes. Telling my girlfriend she has to pay for our date. Uh oh. Hey, I forgot the my wallet. She took the bread straight out of her mouth. I just left it at home. You ain't got your purse? I do. I only have lip gloss on it. They're about to be washing dishes. <laughs> How you don't got no money? You don't have yeah. What is? She really is showing her true wow. colors there. What is this? Selfies? Oof, that filter though. What? Bro, no, 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 no. The walking definition of catfishing. Jenny. Yeah. Okay, let's call Mike. You guys met on a, a dating app and you went out, you had a great date, had some drinks, drinks turned into dinner, that turned into more drinks, that turned into going back to his place. Um, and, and you were happy with all of it, except you have not heard from this guy and he hasn't responded to you since the date and you want to know why. Exactly right, yeah. Let's call him now. Good luck, Jenny. Uh -oh. Thank you. This is not going to be good. Hi, this is Mike. Yeah, this is Mike. Hey, Mike, good morning. My name is Fred. I'm calling from the Fred Show. Uh, we're calling on behalf of a woman who says she met you on um, one of the dating apps. I think it was Bumble. Her name is Jenny, and you guys went out. Do you remember Jenny? Oh, uh, yeah. I remember Jenny. You remember Jenny. Okay. I remember her. Um, so what's going on with her? Because she called us and had a lot of nice things to say about you and the date, thought everything went well. She thought it was a success. Um, and says that she's reached out to you. You haven't responded. She hasn't heard from you. She feels like she's being ghosted. So what's going on? So obviously the date went well. And we got back to my place. We had a really nice night. Um, but uh, when we were naked, I noticed she had a tattoo on her abdomen. <laughs> In the morning, it was I'm it scared. was real clear. It I'm said, <laughs> "I'm scared." Yeah. Words in an arrow. <laughs> Okay, so you couldn't see it at night. It said, yeah, but you could see it in the morning. In the morning, it was very clear. It said, Adam's cat. She's a runner. She's a track star. <sighs> Adam's cat? Oh, my God. With an arrow pointed down <laughs> to her. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. 
I don't know what Who's that? possibly <laughs> could possess Emmy, someone to do a tattoo. That's but like, I, like I don't know who Adam is. Uh, but whoever he is, I'm not into it. <laughs> Adam really that's, did. That's his cat, not Joe's, man. Like they always say, she's not yours. It's just your turn, buddy. <laughs> Leave his mark right that's there. That's horrible. How much an alpha man should cough up for a wedding ring? An alpha man? Oh, I can't wait to hear yeah, how much real, an alpha man should Shout spend on a wedding ring. From my understanding, a guy should be spending three months' salary on a ring. Oh, Tradition. hell no. That has been customary. However, that is not at all required. A lot of women are very happy with rings that cost a lot less. Well, the thing is, However, that's for virgins. You ladies aren't virgins. You have sleeve tattoos. The price goes drastically down. I'm sure that there's more to this. So if that isn't six figures, you probably shouldn't be getting married. Holy class. But you're ma alone. Shots fired. Shots fired. Talking about shouldn't be getting married. You don't even have a man. Mentality, Batman. To actually have the audacity to say that if a person doesn't make six figures in three months, then they have no business getting married. That's wild. Is one not aware that the average American doesn't even make six figures in a year? I guess there's a lot of people in one's opinion that shouldn't be getting married. <laughs> but there's more. And the thing is, dudes that would make this much money wouldn't go for a girl like you. Like, do you have polka dots on your arm? What is this? Spending that, does he really love you or does he just want a hot trophy wife? What? Somebody said you were hot? Shots fired! Shots fired! Personally, I hate that look. I hate like the super over polished, like super straight veneer teeth and the lip gloss. I, I can't stand it. Now, how exactly did that make any sense? But moreover, it's my opinion that any woman that would expect a man to spend six figures on her wedding ring is not after the man himself or who he is. She's only after his money. Mm hmm. Seems like the only thing this woman is doing in this video yeah, is exposing how shallow she is. Thank God the other woman is pointing that out. Went to Salty E's restaurant, and my fiancé no, was not going to let that man feed me. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Bro, I, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I would not let this man feed my wife either. <laughs> I'm not, I, you are not dripping no meat in her mouth, buddy boy. Thank you. If he still went through with feeding her, there would have definitely been a fight. Who's single? Clap for me see who's single here. How many? How many single? One, one. Probably a whole lot of women. And the young boy right there. How old are you, buddy? 19. 19? Oh, wow. You're young, buddy. Is anybody here 18 or 19? Right here. Where? Oh, my God. You're 18 or 19? That's one. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you two go to dinner, yeah? Get to know each other, yeah? Oh. Uh... Then why the hell did you volunteer? Yes, you did. I said, do we have anybody for him? And you were like, woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> He wants to take you out on a date to get to know you. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, now he's a oh! Based. Not anymore. You snooze, you lose. She definitely lost out there. They probably would have been the next Jay-Z and Beyonce if she gave him a chance. I don't know if you're dating and somewhat frustrated, not having a great time, I found this new tool to tell you if your standards are too high. Female delusion calculator. We're looking for someone between 30 and 40. Not married, not a home wrecker. Any race, minimum height, six foot. Let's say he makes six Normal figures. Normal height, six foot? That's tall. 0.20 percent four to five delusion score you've got to be kidding me cat enthusiasts i don't even like cats i feel like way more women need to take a test for like real, this bro. people are mad at this woman for ordering 48 oysters on her first date <laughs> So a woman ordered four big plates of oysters on her first date and her date decided to get up and leave after watching her slurp 48 oysters and eat a full course meal. The woman's date decided to tell her he was going to the bathroom then he basically left without telling her he's leaving. As a result of this, the woman had to pay the entire bill. But what's even worse, after the woman realizing it's been hours and he didn't come back from his trip to the restroom, she texted him saying running out on a tab is crazy. His reply was, I offered to take you out for drinks and you ordered all of that food. Then he said I can catch I'm sorry, but if I took a woman out and she ordered 48 oysters? Oh my my god stupid i can cash out the total for the drinks <laughs> what a king be the total for the drinks so her bro, let me know let me know let me know in the comments right now bro if you took a girl out nice little you know seafood spot maybe eddie b's true luck something like that 
And this had the this woman had the audacity to order 48, 48 oysters. I'd be like, number one, I'm not getting any because she's gonna have a full belly. She's not gonna want to go back to the crib after this. But second of all, you running up like a, a two hundred dollar tab on oysters. Breath is gonna be smelling like straight booty. <laughs> all that fish. Oh my god, I, bro, I could not, not imagine, but I love oysters. Let me know in the comments, you like oysters? But I can't blame him for dipping. I would have dipped I would have dipped too. He said he's not paying for the food, but he wouldn't mind paying for his drink and hers. Now, a lot of people find this quite fair since it seems like the day was supposed to be just for drinks, but the woman instead ordered four plates of oysters, a full course meal, all for herself. And some people agree with the men, like this person who said, 48 oysters is crazy, but for the first date, it's just wild. And someone else said, no way I would have stayed watching her slurp 48 oysters while having her camera on. But on the other hand, some women agree that the men was in the wrong for dipping out and leaving the check. But if you were in this situation, what would you do? This dipped. woman needs some help because her morals are all mixed up. Marriage rate is raising a lot of questions right now. A new study says the reason fewer people are getting married is because there's a shortage of, quote, economically attractive men. The study from Cornell University says women Stupid. aren't getting married because prospective husbands can't provide enough financial security. You're Think about the lifestyle that you want to live when it comes down to vacations and how many kids you want to have. Well, I guess I wouldn't be contributing financially. I don't want any of if my... If you're broke, just say that income to be needed in the family so you're 300,000 like I guess if they made less than that I feel like we wouldn't have the lifestyle I wanted so I would work right five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> is that all these women going to die alone bro okay but what do you think the median income is forty five thousand dollars Oh my god! My husband needs to be making six hundred fifty thousand. And this is why, quite often, <laughs> men don't like American women because of just how That's delusional insane, they are. Bro. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Doing three season. Mm. How are you? Are? Twenty. Who saw you walk out the house this morning today? Leilani, who just left. That's your friend. Mhm. Mm What's that like? My dude, I see that. I don't live with my mom. I stay by myself. Tight. Oh, I'm sorry. I was saying no, I was saying no. I, I, yeah. Dress hey, like that at 20? Bro, what, what happened to the good old days? When a woman would dress modestly, and there were some things left to the imagination. Nowadays, you don't even have to think what it looked like, because they put it all on display. It's crazy to me, dude. Like, women these, like, modern women these days dress like prostitutes did in the 80s. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. It's nuts to me. She walked out of the house wearing that. That's crazy. It's always y'all women. Might put some goddamn clothes on. Man. How can she lie with such a straight face? If you are watching this and you're a man and you're dating a woman who does hands or and, and she right. has videos of herself online having men, he's going. My personal advice would be <laughs> to break up with her. Yeah. Post haste. Merci beaucoup. But why? In my, my personal post opinion, it's just post like, I think my boyfriends have respect. Let me. You're, but my you opinion, you can't you. even say it with a straight face. Boyfriends, one gets one hole, the other gets the other. <laughs> Who don't know Who don't about know each other? <laughs> yeah, they have respect. Hold on, I got okay. some last word. Okay. But you started the podcast saying after they see this, they'll both probably dump me. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> because you know. Yeah, unless she changes Stupid. things in her life, Stupid. she'll probably never have a healthy relationship. What's your ideal age in a man? 18, 19. What's your ideal race? Uh, tip white. Uh, minimum height? Five, five, nine, no, six foot. We went from five nine to six foot. That's the it's like the same, right? Hey. Well, if you just all right, minimum income. Oh, I don't really care. Give me a number. So Ten dollars an hour, like minimum. Give, wage. Me, give me a yearly income. Fifty k. The probability of you finding that man is a 0.81 percent chance. That's why I've never had a boyfriend before. <laughs> makes Who sense. makes fifty thousand at wow, nine? And she wasn't really going for that much. That's crazy. But she seems like a nice girl. Hopefully not everything is lost for her. Men should always pay on the first date, and this is why. Looks like we've got another girl math. This is how much my face costs videos. There are thousands of them. Here's how it goes. There's about to be two grand on my face, starting with Dior Moisturizer, 135. Dior Capture. Two grand on your face, but the thing is, it still looks like crap. Shots fired! Shots fired! You can polish a turd, it's still a turd. You can put lipstick on a pig, and it's still a pig. Like, come on, honey. You serum, 125. Blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. 
So they buy a bunch of things, they put them on their face, and they go, that cost me a lot of money, so now you need to pay. And let's not even talk about how much face crap this is. Let's focus on the fact that she gave the price for the whole jar, but she didn't use the whole jar. Just a little smudge. Here's why that doesn't make sense. Let's say I'm getting dressed for a date. Maybe I'll wear these jeans. Maybe a nice shirt. I'm gonna have to shave. I'll probably drive my car. I'll be paying for the date with money I earned by going to college. And if you think about it, aren't we really all made of the same, like, quantum stuff? Like, in a way, I am the universe. So, two can play at this game. Also, I can't really speak for other guys, but... Could you just show up like this? This is the before, and this is the after. And I gotta say, $2,000 to disguise the way you look does not sound like a deal to me. Well, that's why they call it makeup. It's making up for a lack of aesthetic. Know if there are guys who prefer makeup. I don't know if this guy exists, but I would pay extra to avoid it. So when you add this to this and tell me that it costs me money, that's kind of like if I ordered a pizza and it came with a picture of a nicer pizza and that cost me two thousand dollars. <laughs> if you want to put crap on your face, that's fine. If you want men to pay for dates, that's fine. But nobody is making you do this. A lot of us are fine without it. I don't know yeah. what is going on with this generation. My makeup costs two thousand dollars per date. No, it doesn't. Some women are. Just, Let me know in the comments, would you rather a woman wear makeup or no makeup? Personally, I'm, I'm no makeup gang all day. Bad at math and common sense. It's the matrix, yes, it's the matrix of like finding a woman. You only get to pick two, so you've got the triangle, you've got hot at the top, yep. you've got sane, <laughs> and then you've got single. So yeah. okay. uh, sane and single, you only, you only get, get two. two. Okay, so, so basically, if she's hot... Hot, and single, and sane. So if she's hot and sane, she's not single. If she's single and hot, she's not... What is it? What, she's not... Okay, I'm stupid. If she's sane, then she's definitely not single. <laughs> if she's hot and she's single, she's definitely not sane. <laughs> this is the best and matrix I've ever seen. And if I love she's it. sane and she's single, but well, she's definitely not hot. <laughs> Dude, you know I'm, what? I'm stealing this. I love that. Let me know in the comments. Do you like that one? Dude, I love that one. That's great. This man might have a point. We might need to hang this chart in a classroom That's in a Harvard. Good one. Hot, sane, and single. Perhaps the salad? <laughs> Perhaps not. <laughs> I'll have the steak <laughs> smothered in onions, a rack of ribs, pasta with extra garlic. And that's only the beginning of the order. <laughs> What the fuck? What is this sorcery? What is going on? What? It doesn't even look like the same person. But can you imagine you took the the last look the, the when she got finished with her face that out and then you woke up next to the girl like oh my lord have mercy. Well, this all right. If we can have your name. Uh, my name is Aaron. Aaron, how old I'm are you? Doing viral, I think. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay, yes. and what do you do? Uh, I'm a licensed plumber. And now, what are plumber. some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous, <laughs> not cleanly, don't have a career, nothing really going for yourself. Okay. So we did get Dude, a yoked. pop balloon. Go ahead and go on over there, see what's going on. Yes. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. I'm 24. Um, for me, it just did not Karma. work. Karma. <laughs> the irony. I feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you, and I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. <laughs> so, uh, that's okay. Thank you. You did me a favor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Glad you have a great day. Thank you, Queen. You too. <gasps> the thing is, if you're going to dish it out, karma, you need to be ready for it. And that's what she got. <laughs> well, let's go ahead. And... All right, we got to pop over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Jara. I'm 22. Okay. And why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made uh, didn't really... I like a more humble person. Not someone that responds so defensive-ish. Yeah, that's really it. Yeah. I, I didn't really necessarily like that's how you That's fine. Responded. Hey, I could just... Yeah. All I can do is be honest, I you mean, know? Yeah, be honest. I be authentic self. To, that's okay. To, to, to find a match sure. that one match. And that's sure, all, I mean, queen. I 100% understand. Yes, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. And I was, um, she someone that's your type? Uh, no. She all right. You know, you're mm -hmm. not really my type. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, disrespectful. You know, Savagery. But if I seen you in public, I wouldn't 
reach out totally to. Fine. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Wow, it. the fifth Four Ninja King. Turtle is not having it in this video. <laughs> 23 relatives on a blind date to test her date's generosity. So the blind date was allegedly set up by his mom and took place in China. So the test didn't go very well. The man skipped out on the bill before the bill came and left her and the relatives with a $3,000 bill. But after that, the woman sued him for not paying the bill. Spoiler alert, she didn't win, but the court did make him pay for his and her meal. That's just testing the man's patience, what? not generosity. Can afford dinner. <laughs> Jessica, I'm in here. It's me. This Hello? is Jessica. I'm waiting for this Jessica. Who are you? That is me, clearly. I don't think oh, so. Oh, hell nah, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Have you guys ever been catfished on a date? You just thought you were meeting somebody, but then the other person shows up? Let me tell you a funny story. Story time. I think I've talked about this, though. Met a girl on, like, Bumble or Tinder or Hinge or something like that in college. We show up to the bar. There's, like, a, a pretty popular bar when I, where I went to college. I show up there. I'm like, hey, I'm here. And she's like, hey, I'm here. We lock eyes. This girl got at least another, she got another 50, 60 pounds on her. Her <laughs> pictures are from when she was a sophomore in high school. And now she's a junior in college. Looks a completely different person. She sits down. I go, hey, one sec. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I skedaddle out the back. There's an alleyway. I hit the alleyway and I just leave. I, put, I started, we, we coined the term as the Houdini. <laughs> now you see me. Now you don't. <laughs> You gotta love it. Uh, don't forget to cop the ebook in the description. The four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. And if you need some style help, I dropped the four steps to style ebook in there as well. Go ahead and cop that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And Loki, did you have fun? Dude, he's absolutely loving this bone. Hope you guys had a good time today. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.